Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Infinity, and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course, the law of attraction. So, right as I was starting this recording and doing my intro, I actually heard one of my guides saying that someone is feeling emotional about you and you're feeling it. So this message may only apply for a specific group of people listening, but I am picking up that for someone I'm picking up on here, there is a person that is, I heard distance, they're feeling some kind of distance with you, whether that's emotional, geographical, communication wise, and this distance is affecting them because I'm hearing their soul is like aching for you or their soul is longing for you. And this is like nothing this particular individual has ever experienced with anyone else in their life. This is very unique to how they feel about you, which brings up a very wide range of emotions for them because I'm getting that actually the fact that the emotions they have for you are so intense and so unique may actually be somewhat scary to this person and at times it might actually cause them to seem a little bit guarded but it's actually because they're afraid of being hurt here emotionally because of the intensity of what they're feeling now i keep picturing some kind of masculine energy here now, for those of you who are new, when I use these labels, divine feminine and divine masculine, I always intend these to describe energy dynamics. So you could be either gender, you could look however you choose to present yourself physically, but we all do have a balance of these masculine and feminine energies internally and Therefore, at certain times, we can feel a stronger resonance with the divine feminine or the divine masculine mes messages. Although typically when we incarnate, we do tend to lean in one or the other directions. So I know that I do attract many divine feminines specifically on this channel, which is most likely why the energy I'm getting connected to you is this masculine that's feeling emotional about you. But if you are relating to these messages, but feeling them in the reverse, then take that, of course, however it connects for you. I got the letter initials R-I-C-K-O-S-A-N. I know those are a lot of initials. I'm not sure who that's for. That could be in someone's first or last name. That could form some kind of significant word for you. I heard something about a mountain here. I got something with an L, the letter initials L E O R. And the card to come out is the thinking man reversed. So this card is sitting on the throat chakra, which tells me that there is a masculine energy here who desperately wants to let down their guard with you. And I actually see this letting down of their guard happening and that being communicated somehow to you in the physical world. So I'm actually going to pull an Ask Angels card here. So first of all, we have the card, there's something better. And oddly, 
This card came out in a recent reading. I cannot remember if it was the Patreon reading or if it was the main reading. You guys know that when I channel these Monday, Wednesday, and Friday readings at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I always channel an extended Patreon reading as well. And, you know, I'm thinking more about this throat chakra energy. And it's interesting because I actually felt something happening around the collective throat chakra just a little bit earlier today. It seems like there was some kind of a, almost like someone clearing their throat kind of feeling. And sometimes when I pick up on that, it can actually mean that someone is kind of preparing themselves, like amping themselves up to communicate something with you. So the pieces are falling into place here and it's making sense that that is that masculine energy here that is working themselves up to something here that they want to communicate with you, relating to them, letting down their guard or I'm hearing not coming off as cold. So for some of you, this person might at times come off as cold and you may have either told them this or they might just be aware that they tend to have this kind of stony exterior and they're wanting to let down that guard. I'm seeing someone painting. I'm not sure how that connects. I'm also seeing a sunset with the card in the near future and yes, Okay, let's get back to this. There's something better card. So I've been picking up intuitively that the masculine in question here, which by the way, this isn't the first time this masculine has come up. It does seem to be a recurring masculine energy as is often the case. Of course, the energies don't drastically change from video to video very often because energy tends to change slowly or gradually. But this specific masculine seems to be feeling as though there's something better for you, Divine Feminine. And this is bringing into question their sense of self-esteem. I heard the name Josie or the letter initials J-O-S-E. Yeah, we have self-esteem and fear. So this is someone who feels like their self-esteem is being brought into question because they're wondering am I really the best for you, Divine Feminine? I heard the word toxic. So if you have a past with this person, they may actually even be worried that they're toxic for you or that they're bad for you in some way. And this is such a specific message, but if this person has seen you thriving or seen you growing they may be keeping their distance here because they feel like they're toxic for you or like they wouldn't really be adding to your life, that they may even be detracting from it. I saw a tennis ball and like a tennis court for some reason. With the card in the near future though, I feel as though in spite of this masculine's fears, they're going to be communicating something. And I heard the word subtle. So the way that they communicate this to you, divine feminine may actually be done in some kind of a subtle way, but they know that you're very perceptive and that you pick up on those subtle signals. So whatever this is, they know it's going to get the point across. I know I'm speaking in kind of like vague terms here. I promise we're going to get into specifics. This is just kind of how the energy is unfolding itself. And of course, sometimes it's a little difficult to find the physical words to describe highly energetic dynamics and mechanics. And what I'm picking up between you and this masculine is you'll notice like I'm taking a lot of breaths and then I feel like I'm talking really fast. It's because this masculine is nervous. And as I tap into their energy, I'm picking up on some of that nervousness. We have door to romance up, right? So what they're wanting to communicate is I'm hearing wanting to take things to the next level or wanting to open 
some kind of door. They did call this Pandora's box somewhat jokingly, which speaking of jokes, we did get the humor card reversed. So there may be times that this masculine actually uses their sense of humor to cover some of the deeper emotions that they're actually having. Like I'm hearing to kind of lighten the mood or provide comic relief when they feel things getting really heavy or getting really intense. So how does this masculine want to open the door to romance? By the way, that door to romance card is sitting on the third eye chakra and I'm picking up very strongly. This masculine is... Their guides aren't letting them let you go. They're not letting them get rid of this connection psychically or mentally. They may even feel as though they're kind of running circles here where like they try to put this to the side mentally to think about other things, to kind of run in that one direction, but they find themselves always coming back the other direction, meaning circling back around to thoughts of you. And this person needs to get something off their chest here, but the fact that they haven't communicated it yet indicates to me that because the lines of energetic communication are very, very open between you and this masculine, you may actually be feeling a sensation as though there's like this pending sense of urgency or restlessness. This can even manifest as anxiety, either in your emotional body, your mental body, or even your physical body. So divine feminine, if you are on the other side of this dynamic, be extremely mindful because there's a very good chance that you are through some layer of your body because of course the body exists at many different levels and layers, but I'm specifically getting the emotional body, the physical body, and the mental body may be affected by the anxious thoughts and feelings that this masculine seems to be sending you, but they're going to be communicating something in the near future that's going to clear the air, get something off their chest, and may actually release you as well from some of those lingering feelings of restlessness or anxiety that you might actually be picking up from this masculine. So I'm going to go ahead and reshuffle the cards here. Now, if you do want more information on specifically what this divine masculine is going to be getting off their chest or communicating with you, I will be channeling into that in the extended version of the reading on Patreon. So as always, the link to join our beautiful soul tribe on Patreon is in the pinned comment and description box underneath this video. For some reason, I, it's like I put away this emotion deck and my guides really want me to pull it back out again and shuffle and pull another card here. So I'm not sure where the reading is going to go from here. I'm really just going to leave things open-ended. But right away, we have the peace card. And this card says, I am a being of love. And I release all negative energy. Now, it's very interesting this card is coming up here because I did a reading and posted it about eight hours ago as of when this reading video is being posted. And in that reading, I shared a message specifically with a group of divine feminines on a twin flame path. So it was a very hyper specific message. But I said in that reading that I was getting the energy of a divine masculine in a karmic relationship or situation. Doesn't have to be a romantic relationship, but there was a karmic connection around him. And that karmic person was seeing you, divine feminine, going through this massive glow up and transformation. And that karmic was actually feeling really triggered and projecting some of that triggered energy onto you in a way that you empathically were manifesting or picking up on in your body. 
So I felt the need to share that again. Although of course, if that's resonating, you can go back and listen to that video as well. But I feel like some energy someone's been sending you divine feminine may have been a bit disruptive to your piece because this peace card, when it first came out was actually in the reverse position, representing something disrupting your peace. And again, the affirmation on this card feels worth repeating. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy and my guides added another line and I call back my power power. So I'm getting that doing the very well-known ritual of verbally calling back your power could be really powerful at this time. Now, one way to do this is of course pretty well known, but it's to say that I am calling back my power from all people, places, and situations. And Simply saying this, asserting this verbally can be really powerful. So let me know if you do want me to share in potentially future podcast videos about ways to call back your power or energy. But with the strategy card in the upright position, I feel this card really relating to... I don't want to say making some kind of plan because that seems to carry an element of control with it, but I'm hearing tapping into the core soul plan, remembering the plan. I'm hearing stick to the plan, but what my guides are referring to as the plan somewhat teasingly isn't a plan made from the conscious human mind. This is more so a remembrance of the deeper soul plan that you created for yourself by your higher self prior to incarnating here on earth. And so I actually feel as though you have been living in a profound alignment with that higher soul plan, but there may be some who have tried to pull you off track. And this won't be for everyone, but if you felt either societal pressures, people in your life, collective belief systems, or limiting ideas, kind of trying to pull you off track from that core soul plan of your life, what you came here to be, to do, to express that you know you came here to be at that deepest part of your being, be very stubborn about holding to those core intentions, whatever those are for you personally, because life is really teaching us right now that we can trust our innermost selves above all else, that we can lean fully into our guidance internally and that we don't need anyone or anything to validate what our soul just knows. And the reason this is coming through so strongly for you today is because I feel there is something on your mind or your heart that your soul just knows and you may not be able to fully consciously understand it, but your soul knows and you can trust that knowing. So I want to know what else I can channel for the beautiful divine feminines tuned in here. You know, it's so funny because we start to talk about your soul purpose. You living in this alignment with those core soul intentions and it feels so personal and so individual and then suddenly boom pops in this awakened masculine energy with the man holding a coin upright so we can't escape that when you divine feminine are glowing and radiant and living in your power and in alignment and just radiating that authentic signal out into the universe of course, that makes you highly magnetic, especially when it comes to soul connections, which don't have to be romantic, but I am picking up on a very strong, awakened, masculine energy that is highly attracted to you in that state of power and authenticity. This is no surprise because as I said in 
either in this reading or in my last reading, I don't even remember, but we talked about how the energies don't necessarily change drastically from reading to reading. It's more like an evolution, like an unfolding. And the reason for that is because oftentimes energy is very slow moving. There's a gradual alignment to things. And I feel that this awakened masculine energy is one that has popped up in many recent readings. One that you most likely thought of someone in your mind when I began describing this. If not, this message may or may not apply to you personally. Of course, always use your intuition. But for many of you, this is an awakened divine masculine. And of course, I'm laughing because I was casually holding the whole deck and I happened to look at the bottom of the deck, which I wasn't even planning on doing. And the yin yang reverse card is here, which is my number one twin flame card in the deck. So I have to say that this could be a twin flame situation. Of course, it doesn't necessarily have to be but the fact this card is reversed tells me that whoever this masculine is, this is someone that you are strongly feeling internally, but that you may not be that physically connected to, or if there is a physical connection, it may be very unpredictable or sporadic. Now, for some of you, this could be someone from your past, this could be someone you've met recently, or someone entirely new entering your life, but the key is here, I'm hearing your guide say, it's the one on your heart space, because energies can connect with us through many different chakra centers and in many different ways, but this is the one that you feel connecting to your heart right now, and you know who that is. If this message is for you, you intuitively know which masculine is truly connecting with you at the heart and which is only connecting with you from, let's say, the sacral, from the mind, from the ego, from the solar plexus, whatever it is. You might have many different energies connecting with you at different levels and through different chakras, but this masculine is really most strongly connected to you in the heart space. I'm not sure why the guides really wanted to emphasize that, especially when it comes to using your discernment and noticing how and where other people connect with you because I'm picking up on a divine feminine who has the ability to sense or read energy, whether you realize this consciously or not. You have the ability to pick up on energies and specifically when it comes to the energy between connections, that interconnection energy, you can pick up on that as well. And you can tell intuitively when someone is latched on to that's interesting. I just heard a train in the backgrounds. I would typically like pause and restart the reading, but I'm going to leave it in because a train might be significant to someone here, but this can also represent a shift. This can represent movement in this connection. So someone might take that as a sign, but where were we? So what I was getting into here is that you intuitively can tell when and where someone is connecting with you, Divine Feminine, particularly if you are in your love life connecting with different masculine energies, or even if you've just felt some of these energies recurring from your past, you know how they're connecting with you. Sometimes there are masculines who are connecting with you from the heart space or above, so highly spiritual chakra centers. Sometimes there is a masculine who is only wanting to connect with you through the more grounded chakra centers, such as the root, the sacral, the solar plexus. So when a masculine is connecting to you through, for example, the root chakra, they may be connecting with you on a very like shallow, physical, us being together just logically makes sense, or they like being seen with you or whatever the case is. When they're connecting dominantly through the sacral, the connection may be 
full of chemistry, may have profound what we think of as spark, but again, there may not be that desire to connect through the upper chakras. And when a masculine is connecting with you through the solar plexus, there is some kind of ego lingering in their connection to you. So something about it gives them some kind of an ego boost in some way or connects with their ego. And of course, that's not to say that a masculine can't connect with you in these ways and connect with you through the upper chakras as well, but you will encounter many energies who aren't ready to connect with you on those deeper, higher vibrational levels. And you actually have a very profound intuitive awareness of where and how others are connecting with you, particularly at this time. And you're really being asked to lean into that. Okay, so... I am going to be channeling more into this awakened masculine as we are referring to them in the extended version of the reading on Patreon. So I am going to be channeling more into who this person might be, some triggers that could connect the dots for you if you're still unsure who this person is. This Reading will also contain some future timeline potentials for them as well. So the link to the extended version of the reading is in the pinned comment and description box underneath this video. So for now, I am going to open up the reading to your spirit guides, your higher self, whatever divine forces you personally connect with. And I just want to know what closing messages you might need to be aware of at this time. And from the Starseed Oracle, we have Jump In, Andromedan energy, adventure, say yes to change. And for some reason, I'm hearing that phrase, change is the only constant. And that's coming through because for a specific divine feminine, you might be feeling that very strongly in your life right now, as though many things are shifting and changing very quickly. Even if things actually look stagnant in the physical realm, things are actually moving very fast energetically. We also have the card, loosen your grip, coping mechanisms, density, addiction, let the divine in. So combining these two cards, I'm really getting this overarching message of finding the balance between having the courage to embrace the change in your life while also not holding on to anything too tightly, really allowing these changes, allowing these transformations with an attitude of radical surrender, which is of course so much easier said than done. And if you're on this path, you are really being... I don't know what the right word is, but admonished, admonished is more like giving advice, but admired. I mean, admired is the word that wants to come out, but your guides are so proud of you. Whatever spiritual forces you connect with, whether it's spirit guides, ancestors, the divine, you have so much behind you, spiritually speaking. And I'm almost hearing it's sort of like a cosmic joke because in those moments that you feel alone, you are so surrounded and supported and cared for on this journey. And I'm going to go ahead and pull one final Rumi Oracle card to close the reading. This card comes out fairly frequently. Today it's coming in with some kind of additional throat chakra activation message because this Rumi card is heavily sitting on the throat chakra energy. So let's see what message wants to come through here. Okay, so the guidebook here says, there is a valid point of view that we travel this path of our life journey alone. Our deepest descents into the psyche happen alone. 
we meet death alone and come into the world alone. And yet there is a vaster perspective that we are never alone, that it would be impossible to really be alone. We are connected to all of life and there is no such thing as being alone in reality, only in limited and temporary perception. So that feels like a beautiful place to close the reading. If you do feel guided to the extended version of this reading on Patreon, I will be channeling everything that we mentioned previously in the reading. And in addition to that, I will also be channeling any further messages from your spirit guides or higher self specifically. So the link to that extended reading is in the pinned comment and description box underneath this video. If you do resonate with my energy, I invite you to subscribe to the channel as well. Join our beautiful community of like-minded, conscious, creative beings here on YouTube. You can also follow me on Instagram where I post typically daily updates and inspiration. And my Instagram is at magnetize yourself. Otherwise, I am sending you all so much love today. Have a beautiful remainder of your week and I will connect with you here again in Friday's collective reading.